Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. Today I have a Aritzia holiday gift guide for you because... Come on, Harley. You want to enter the frame? Harley wants to say hi. All right, everyone. So we are doing a Aritzia holiday gift guide because Aritzia is awesome. It is very versatile to shop for in the woman or man of in your life. They have so many different styles within their house brands and the price point, I'll bet a little bit pricey, there is something for everyone. So let's get to it. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a try on holiday gift guide. I will leave the name, item, color, size, price point, down here when I am talking about the item. So we're gonna start from high end to low end. So if you have a bit more of a budget to shop for for your, um, I guess, gifter, hands down, a wool coat. I recommend a wool coat because this will take them longer throughout the seasons than something like a super puff will. I know the super puff is extremely trendy and if you want one, go for it. If someone you know wants one, go for it. But that is a super trendy item. It'll probably be in style for about like two, three years or so. But a classic wool coat will take them longer in life. So I've had this thing for about a year now. And if you watched my Our Aritzia Coats Worth It video, I have have coats from like six years ago that I still wear from Aritzia. So those are really, really great. Not investment pieces, because I wouldn't say it's an investment per se, but really great quality um, pieces that you can wear for a longer time. One is one of their more classic totes that they offer to date. This is the Cocoon Coat in the gray, and it's a really good mid-size coat. This coat does go down to about above the knees or mid-thigh, so it's really nice. It covers the bum, so you can wear it out as a dressy coat. This is my latest addition. This is the Stedman in the Alpaca Fur. This is very, very beautifully made. It is so luxurious and gorgeous, so this is also something that you can consider and it is a really long coat so it goes past your knees definitely a coat that you can dress up for sure moving on to a little bit lighter outerwear if you live somewhere like california and you also want to have outerwear pieces this is my all-time favorite once again i've talked about the kalo jacket or kalo robe before i've converted everybody that i know to own them is the Kalo Rope Midi, so it's the shorter version. These you can wear as blazers, so if you're an office girl or you work somewhere in the industry that needs to be a little bit more dressy. So gorgeous and flowy. Barely wrinkle, so they're kind of like wrinkle proof. They hardly ever wrinkle. Expensive for what they are, but because they're so versatile, you can wear them as a blazer, you can wear them as an outer piece wear. Super, super versatile. I think they're 100% worth the money. If you want, you can tie the back. They are so beautifully made. Um, this material is just gorgeous. It is like a crepe material, but there are other versions that Aritzia has, such as the Quincy robe, and that's a really beautiful style too, but unfortunately the Quincy robe wrinkles, so as soon as you wear it, it wrinkles. I also own something like the Durante robe. It's like a super long, kind of looks like a pajama robe, but that thing wrinkles. So I don't think those are worth the money, even though I own them myself. They're about the same price in the price range, so Hands down, I would go with a Kalo. They are so beautiful. They elevate your your whole outfit once you put it on. I just love wearing them with sort of a knit tube top, a high-waisted pant, and then as soon as you put this on, it literally makes your outfit. So this one is, it kind of looks like a laboratory coat, but this is the bone version and this is the long one. So same deal and same fabric. This one's just longer and this one's really flowy. So if you want something more casual that is definitely more versatile, I'd go with the midi version. It is also a little bit cheaper, but if you're someone who loves to make a statement, this bone long one, it definitely is a great choice as well because obviously I own both. <laughs> and it wouldn't be the holiday season without talking about Aritzia sweaters. Now I own 
a hell of a lot of Aritzia sweaters, but here are my top four that I would choose right now. This is the Cerment sweater in the tamarind color. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, mustardy, yellow color. Some people wouldn't like it. I love it. Vicky loves it. She has one of her own. If you don't know, Vicky is my little sister. So yeah, we love this color. We love this sweater. It's really nice, especially if you just do a little tuck into jeans. It's a nice lighter sweater. It's not so heavy duty. There's no neck stuff happening. If you are in a climate that's a little bit just cooler and not cold per se. This is great because you could just wear this and tuck this into the jeans, do a little tuck, have a little belt action showing, and yeah, definitely a beautiful sweater to wear. This one is a great sweater to go with. I have not even worn this one yet. I bought this when I worked there, so if you want to watch my $6,000 haul, I will link that as well, but this is the Isabelle sweater. It is a nice, super light sweater. It's even lighter than the Cerment. So this is a great sweater to wear as well. Looks really cute and beautiful, just tucked into jeans once again. Little belt action showing. That's my favorite way to wear these sweaters. I just love tucking them into jeans and then have the belt kind of showing. It is not like a thick knit. It's really, really thin and it's also not super tightly knit. So it's really nice and flowy but it still keeps its structures. This sweater is for if you are very casual. My little sister loves this, and unfortunately she does not own it. So this is the Gwyneth. I also own the other version, it's the Marilyn. I think it has the zipper that all goes all the way down. This sweater is so comfortable, it feels like you're wearing a cloud. Now, when I worked there, I did not buy this. So I bought this for full price, but this sweater is just so nice. It's a little bit cropped. I love wearing it with something like the Riley pant, which is a really beautifully high-waisted wide leg pant it is so beautiful it's super nice wearing it together and yeah it's like the material is just so cloud like so you'd think it would be itchy but it's not it's not itchy at all and especially with me I have super sensitive skin if you guys don't know that already sometimes my face is red sometimes my face is flaky sometimes my face has pimples all over it I'm super sensitive with my skin and this does not make me itchy at all it's actually so soft it literally feels like a cloud so this is my next recommendation for someone who is a little bit more casual this is Aritzia's like I think more iconic pieces. This is the Montpellier sweater. I own two of these and hands down one of my favorite. If I don't know what I'm wearing, tuck this into jeans. Like if I don't know what I want to wear, I just wear this. Tuck this into jeans. You look so chic. The turtleneck is not a turtleneck that is tight on the neck. It's just nice and flowy. Super oversized. This one's a small. Oh no, this is an extra small. So like you can see it's super oversized and just beautifully made sweater. So I think this is about the same price as the Kalo Row Mini. So it is a little bit more pricey, but I just wanted to show you all the options of sweaters that you could find. There's cardigans. Aritzia has something for everyone. So these are my picks, but just want to forewarn you when you go on the website or when you go in store, there's just so many beautiful pieces. Look for this sweater if you really don't know what to get someone. Tube tops are one of my favorite things to buy from Aritzia. I just want to show you guys I own a lot of them. By Babaton, this is the Ensemble top. They are so amazing. They also come out with tops like this. These ones are really awesome as well. I just love the Babaton knit crop tops. They are so nice. They just for some reason suck you in and make you feel so supported. I hardly ever even wear bras with these things, so 100% recommend. These are amazing. They look great with a just pair of high-waisted pants, sweater, or jacket over it, or you could just wear it as is. Like when I go to Disney World or Disneyland, I kind of just wear them as is. Super comfortable. So if all else fails, you think all those items are just too expensive, Aritzia makes some good accessories. These are a recent pair of auxiliary gloves. They were a little bit more pricey. They do have mittens and whatnot, but these ones are cashmere with the tech fingers, which is the reason why I purchased them. Something that I recommend if all else fails, you think everything else is a little bit too pricey, you can go with a nice little accessory like this. That is everything that I recommend, of course. If you really are racking your brain and you don't know what to get the person, you can get them a gift card. That is the best 
foolproof method. You won't ever, ever go wrong with a gift card. I'm just going to read out the gift, the holiday gift policy. If you purchase anything between November 18th to December 24th, they will gladly exchange or refund regular priced items purchased as gifts until December 31st. After de December 31st, regular priced items purchased as gifts may be exchanged for merchandise or merchandise credit until January 7th. So you have a quite a bit of leeway space to do so. There are no in-store returns or exchanges November 22nd to the 24th and December 24th to 26th probably because that is their most busiest time, especially December 24th is usually when they release their Boxing Day sale. They release it public way before Boxing Day, so Boxing Day is obviously December 26th. Christmas Day is December, 24th, December 25th, so obviously stores are closed then, but you can shop their Boxing Day sale usually online. So December 24th to 26th also, no exchanges, no um, in-store returns. I also want to mention I did not recommend any pants. It's really hard in my opinion to find a pair of pants that will fit someone and you know the end goal is that they don't exchange it and they don't return it. So all these items that I've showed they are a little bit more stretchy or oversized so the space between their actual size if they are a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger they can still probably most likely fit in these items. Just for size reference, I do wear a small to medium. It really depends on the item. So that's just a size reference. Like you, I told you, I have the Montpellier in the extra small, but I do own a Montpellier in the small. So it kind of just gives off a different kind of look when I wear a more oversized sweater. So I wanted to bring that up because of course you guys saw no pants in the video. And that is the reasoning behind that. If you guys need any help, Leave a comment down below or DM me at Hello Harley Blog on Instagram. If you can follow me on Instagram for more outfit inspirational posts. And I will see you in the next video.